Good. Oh, water droplet. Good afternoon, everyone. And uh, this afternoon we are by Loch Eck. This vlog, this location, I have tried now. I think this is the third time that I've tried this. Uh, for some reason, files always seem to be missing and something doesn't seem to work. And then I end up with nothing. But today is the day. Today is the day that it's gonna all work out. On that note, I'm gonna check my camera and make sure that I've got my uh, SD card. Because I did take it out, so this isn't the first time I've been out shooting today. Yep, SD card in camera. If I'd have forgotten that, that would have been a great start to the day. Anyway, so onwards, upwards, autumnal trees with waterfalls. This is gonna be special, guaranteed. So I've made it to the first of the waterfalls and it is the biggest and probably the most impressive but it's not the most photogenic it's really not so I'm gonna try a little bit of trickery to make this pop that little bit more there are lots of autumn leaves around in the water and what I'm thinking is I'll throw a load into the water and then have them slowly drift towards the lens and me and my camera and just to see what kind of effects I can get. Now there's a couple of things that are really irritating about this location. First of all, this tree branch that comes down here. I don't like that, it gets in the way, but it's quite easily removed. I've already had to do it a couple of times. Then this rock down here in the water, I never really know what to do with it. It's kind of too high to sort of make it a foreground interest because it starts cutting out the the bottom of the waterfall and that's really important in waterfalls having that bottom section so I don't want to cut that out what I could do is move over this way where I've got a little bit of flow coming down and have that as my foreground interest and that is probably what I'll do I've been looking around on the logs for mushrooms that are formed because I really quite fancied the idea of a focus stack between some fungi and then a waterfall feature in the background. I thought that would look really good. But all the fungi that's around here, unfortunately, has, uh, it's past best. Let's just say that, past best. We must have had a frost over this side. As for autumn, yeah, it's all right. It's not that great here. I've definitely seen woodland with better autumn colors, um, but fingers crossed, it gets better the higher we go because our next waterfall is up there. But time for me to get a set up and see what we can create. So here we are, I'm sorry if you can't hear me very well, but I figured it would look better, you over there and me over here, a little bit of a separation. Um, so this is the shot that I'm looking at, I'm just gonna put it into record, and I've decided to put quite a bit of foreground in down here, because I really like this little bit of water moving up into the waterfall. I've centralized the main body of the water and not the top of the waterfall because I want you to travel up the waterfall and then wonder what's over that crest. At the moment, I'm getting the most beautiful light on these trees at the top up here and I can probably change them into a bit more of an autumny feel in Photoshop. So I've got my pile of leaves. It isn't just leaves, which is a bit of a shame, but I think it's gonna work just the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw them nice and high, put a five second timer on, and then hopefully I'll be able to time it so it's right. But I'm gonna leave you behind the camera so you're not in my shot, not this time anyway. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed it works out. Yeah, it's not working, but it was a nice idea and maybe something you can try and make a little bit more successful. But 
I'm going to head higher and see what else we can find on this waterfall. As nice as this one is, but I know they get better. But I figured I'd stop and point out this tree over here, beach. The ultimate autumnal British tree, the beach. If you, uh, if you are interested in photography, which I imagine you are because you're watching this, these are the autumnal trees you look for. They're, they're just pretty. And I can see a few further up where we're heading so this might change this might get a whole heap better it's all you can ask for so onwards and upwards enough of me rabbiting on about how pretty beech trees are for those of you that are on my Facebook page uh, you will have already seen this image here now, when I was here last time, the conditions were much better, and I'll show the image just here. But there was lots of bubbles just on the right-hand side, just down here behind that rock. But the flow must have changed with the water level, so the bubbles are now on the left-hand side, which doesn't complement the scene as well. So, yeah, this is the first time that YouTube has seen this location, but this is not the first time I've shot this location, and I've shot it in better conditions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bypass this scene here, head higher and see if I can find something better. Because for me, there's no point shooting something that I've already done better. So this scene that you can see behind me is the main reason I came here. I had a feeling the autumn colours might be good up this way. I've got this beautiful arch created by this broken oak leading out into this lovely little waterfall with this beautiful tree in autumn colour. Now there's a couple of things that I'd change if I could. First of all, this tree over here, that whole coppice of trees over there yeah, if I could, I'd get rid of them, but I'm not going to destroy nature for the sake of an image. So I'm just going to have to work around it. Luckily, I've just bought that ultra wide angle lens because I really want to incorporate this beautiful arch made of oak. It's just stunning. And why wouldn't I? But it's going to take me a bit of time to get the composition right. So if you come to a location where you can envision something, but it doesn't just jump straight out, the good technique is to get your camera out, have a little walk around and work on that scene. Whether you need to go further back and shoot it with a longer focal length or you can get closer like I'm hoping that I can and shoot it with a wide angle. I'm going to have a little look with a wide angle and see what I can come up with first. Fingers crossed because this is something special. I think I found it, but it's going to take a couple of compositions to get it because when the light is good in the background, I can see my shadow and I definitely don't want to see my shadow. But that is the art, the art of photography, taking a scene, choosing what you like and amalg amalgamating it together to create something special. So it's time to get set up. So I've got my tripod all set up and I'm happy-ish about the scene. It's not really about the waterfall. The waterfall's an added little bonus, but it's more about the relationship between that tree over there in the light and this big oak branch in the shadow. 
um, which looks quite nice. So I'm going to flip it into camera mode so you can see what I'm looking at. So this is it. I've got this beautiful tree over here, centralised. I've got this oak tree coming across the top this way, a little limb coming down here, a branch coming out into the top corner here, which helps keep your eye focused on that main scene there. If I raise my exposure a little bit, and you can see I've got this beautiful patch of autumn oak leaves leading through into this little waterfall centralized again and then the waterfall leading out to the right. To be able to get this properly it is going to take a few different exposures and then I'll blend them together in Photoshop choosing what I like and what I don't like to hopefully put something together that just screams woodland autumnal and hopefully beauty because I think this is a pretty spectacular scene. But I'm gonna get the shots and then you'll see the finished result in a second. I've definitely captured that image the best it can be. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head a little bit closer and see what else I can make out of that tree. Yeah, that did rhyme. Not on purpose, but you know, if you can do a bit of poetry in your videos, why not? But let's see what else we can find. This next shot that I'm about to take is a super obvious one. I'm not going to talk you through it because there's no need to. It's really obvious why I've taken it. So I'm just going to capture it, and there it is. Pretty beautiful, eh? So what I'm doing right now is I'm working at the scene. Now, when you come to a location like this, instantly you're caught by one thing. And that one thing might be beautiful, but there might be a different way of doing it. And it's quite important not just to grab that shot and then move on, which I struggle with, I do, but to work the scene, try different compositions, because you never know. The one that you like, might not actually be the one that you like. You might like it at the time, but when you get back to the computer, you might be like, oh, I wish I'd done this, or I wish I'd done that. So what I'm doing now is I've tried, this is gonna be my third composition of the same focal point, that golden tree with that beautiful waterfall underneath. I've got a lot closer this time. The reason why is because there's some bubbles in the water, yep, I like bubbles. But I think I've captured the best from this little spot here. So I'm going to head a little bit higher and see what else we can find. Because so far, this little stream has been super productive and I am having the best time. And there's a shot down there that I want the light on, but I'm going to go higher while it's cloudy. And fingers crossed, this just keeps on getting better. So this is the final of the waterfalls that I'm going to be able to get to. Um, yeah, it's big, but I don't think it's picturesque and it doesn't have the autumn colours around it that I would like. So I think I'm going to call the vlog here. Um, this section of water next to Loch Eck, beautiful. So many possibilities, so many beautiful colours and so dramatic but the final waterfall i don't think i'm going to be able to climb around that very easily 
um, maybe another time I'll find another way up this way but yeah I think I'm gonna call the vlog here I hope you've enjoyed the video um, the one thing I wanted to take from this is the same thing that I say most videos is get out there go explore follow little burns little rivers little streams if you can find a map and it says there's like a little stream coming down the side of a mountain you can pretty much guarantee that there's going to be waterfalls pretty much it might not be but pretty much guaranteed um, but from Scotland that's going to be all this from me this week and uh, I've got some pretty exciting news I'm not sure how the photography is going to be there but my god am I going to have a lot of fun but that won't be seen now for a, probably a couple of weeks I'm going to be there for five months five months oh very excited but anyway have a lovely weekend and uh, from me in Scotland peace out <laughs>